Hello everybody, my name is Joy and welcome back to Pocket Mirror. Now in the last episode, we managed to... ...back together, that's what I was trying to say. And now they're happily dancing across the ballroom. And I am traumatized for life. So let's see where this key that they gave me leads. Because this is locked. The door is locked. Let me try. Because I got a suspicion that that new that the door up there will be saved for the end. But this is a special key. A very special golden key. No? Alright then. I still can't see my own reflection. Alright, that was a problem, wasn't it? Okay, very well then. Let's try it here. Let's see. Special key. It's working. It seems to be working. So this would be the way to the theater. Hello? You gonna put up a show for me? No? Okay then. It's a page ripped from a book. Oh well, I thought maybe you were going to read that. I can't understand what is written here. The handwriting is too messy. Huh. Well, that's not practical at all. It's filled with children's books. I like children's books. I always wanted to write a children's book. Especially when I was little. Let's see. Oh. What? Oh, I'm climbing up a letter. Verat by Elise Lydell. Verrat means betrayal in German. They got a lot of German stuff in here. Okay, okay. They're not reading you anything. They just give you the title of the book. Okay. The Anatomy of Melancholy by Robert Burton. Not Tim Burton. Robert Burton. Not sure if they're related. I've never seen this language before. Oh, another letter. These shelves are filled with fairy tale books. See anything over here? There are dark stains splattered on these. Well, that's no good. That is no good news for me. The show is about to start. Uh, ho hold on a minute. I'm just exploring around a little bit. to do that just yet sort to disappoint you just you know take a moment to read go through your lines again or something i can't understand this handwriting well you'd expect the queen's theater room would have more better the degruppierung der psychischen krankheiten by carl ludwig kalbaum okay let me see if i can translate this i, I somewhat understand it but it's kind of hard to translate it to Eng english um degruppierung means the group forming or the classification I think they mean in this case the psychischen Krankheiten uh, of mental illnesses so that the classification of mental illnesses so that's what that is about I think if I mistranslated that let me know okay I don't know if that's going to be important at all like is that German going to be important I mean finally my German classes will pay off I'll be happy about that there are so many coloring books. Okay. Just coloring books? Just coloring books. It's the index of a book. A witch's guide to medical herbs. Herbs. Sorry, I should say. The Boy and the Pumpkin. Alright, no story still. Afternoon tea rhymes for children. This is odd. I mean, there's a lot of children's books and a lot of, you know, fiction stuff out here. And then there's those German titles. Oh, well, let's let's take a seat. Have a seat. Welcome to the most incredible of shows, the most amazing and impressive prose of a little girl whose days are counted, with none of her wishes ever being granted. Aren't I an impressive poet? Who are you? You're not supposed to talk. Don't trouble yourself with petty questions, miss. But 
do enjoy stay and please do enjoy your stay and please <laughs> keep your memories close to your heart okay Once upon a time, in a very special garden, there was a very special little girl. She loved taking naps outside in the afternoon and doing nothing all day. Such an adorable little slob. In fact, she has such a privileged little girl, she had her very own mountain of sweets. But that's not all. Egliette, her best of friends, never left her side. Just like sisters from the same mother. Haha, <laughs> I'm hilarious. A noisy little brat and a stuffed doll, what better combination could there be? Together, they were a riot. Known all over the kingdom as the supreme rulers. Or just two silly little kids, I don't know, silly little ones as they were, they told each other many secrets, even embarrassing ones. Tea time was a very important event where they discussed very serious matters, which was the funniest pumpkin in the kingdom, for example. They also had many special cake parties and brains the size of a pea. Egliot was indeed Fleeta's best friend and her most important person. She was also stuffed with the girl's childish ways. One day, however, it started to rain, preventing Fleeta from leaving the house. What a shame. Inside Frida's house was a secret place, so secret no one could ever visit. Nevertheless, the intelligent girl she is, Frida decided to wander in anyway. It's not as if a little rain could keep them from having fun. Inside the very secret room was a very secret letter. What could be written in this amazing secret letter, Frida wondered. But what's this? The letter is filled with lies. Just who could have written all these lies? What were those lies doing inside that room? How could they have gotten here? There was simply no way Frida would believe such ugly lies. There was no way it was Frida's fault. It could not have been Frida's fault. That's right. There was no way Fleeta could have been involved in such despicable affairs. Fleeta was nothing but a pure little girl. There was no way it could have been Fleeta's fault. Simply because there was a very dear, clear culprit. It was all that mean girl's fault. <clears throat> The name of that very evil culprit is... Oh my, things may have gotten interesting. <sighs> okay, I can breathe again. What's going on? Okay, that was intense. Oh my, I hope that was still somewhat understandable. Jeez, that text went by fast. I mean, just fast enough to read, but to read out loud, man, that takes a little longer. But what happened? Isn't it obvious, dearie? We took care of them. See, they were murderers. She was the fuck's murderer thing. You don't mean you've done this yourself, do you? Why yes, we have. Wasn't our work done quite beautifully? But why? I thought all you wanted was to dance again. Oh, sweetie, you have yet much to learn. And apparently hatred is still one of those things. How could you do something like this? How could we? You are well aware that we've... of what they've done to us. Are you not, miss? This still doesn't justify what you've done. How doesn't it justify? Revenge, my dear, is a dish best served cold. Do you understand? Now move along. We, we are very grateful for your good deeds towards us, miss, after all. We owe you our most pure satisfaction. <laughs> this can't be. He keeps saying that it can't be, yet it happens very clearly. I don't want to approach them. Yes, let them dance. I mean, it's somewhat understandable in such a cruel world, but... Why? Why would you? Pumpkin? Not even the pumpkins have anything to say. Let's see, can I go back there? I can't. Okay, the theater is closed. But that was a funny little segment, by the way. I haven't, I haven't even had the chance to say that. I love that. That's really cool. That's, I, I thought that was very cool implemented into it as a... Okay, hold on. Let me try that phrase again. I thought that that type of animation is not often seen in these type of games, in these type of RPGs. 
And I think it was very well done. I loved it. No, can't go there either. There is no way for me to go. But those, I'm wondering if those mirrors were like alternate universes or different points in time. Because I'm still thinking that maybe that fox was the same fox that got executed. Because the queen found out in time? Or maybe they stuffed her head later? Hello kitties, what are you doing here? Oh no, I'm allergic to cats. Me too! Me too. Bless you. Oh no, I'm allergic. Okay, it's, it's just sneezing. Feline Gloria, 1846. Sim Meow the conqueror of Persia. Such a silly feigning. Ah, oh, pumpkin charm. Cat is faction, 1713. A sleepy looking cat resting under a broad blue, broad blue sky. Is this the internet before it was the internet? Cat eye, 1690s. Oh god, I can't talk. Her eye. What might be troubling you, little girl? Oh, your name is Butler? I... I don't know, mister. And what might you not know, little girl? I don't know why they would do something like that. I see. Listen, miss. Our existences, no matter how faint they might be, they do deserve a purpose and will, in one way or another, affect our own. I see. You can have this. I think it might cheer you up a little. Acquired a candy cane. Unfortunately, I can't accompany, accompany you in your journey, but I'm sure this will be able to reassure you in times of distress. Thank you, mister. You're very kind. Yeah, a candy cane makes everything better. All of my childhood traumas are suddenly gone. The queen is awaiting you. Oh god, is she? Why? Oh, uh, can I save? The queen is awaiting you. Pumpkin. Chum oh, is that? Wait a minute. Is that a safe? Is that a safe point? I almost missed that. They blend in fairly well with the background. So I think... Okay, anything else? The queen is awaiting you. Yeah, meow, meow, meow. Okay. Give me that, please. Thank you. Appreciate it. Moving on. Proceeding. To the queen. <laughs> queen Egliot's ceremony is about to start. How exciting. Yeah, can't wait. Love the previous ceremonies. You're so lucky, miss. I wish I were an honor guest myself. An honor guest? Uh, does that mean bad things for me? I like the music as well. Finally. Now hurry on. The queen is awaiting you. Okay, same, same. Off with your head. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Don't joke about that, bro. Finally. Now hurry on. The queen is awaiting you. Okay. What about this? A beautifully decorated chocolate tired cake. Oh my. I am so in the mood for chocolate today. I almost got aggressive. Anything you have to say? You look a bit like the wooden soldiers, like the. Um, what do you call them? The nutcrackers. Wouldn't surprise me if you were, actually. That would perfectly fit the scene. Hello, Queen Igli Igliet. Igliet? Is that it? Impressive. I knew you would be able to reach me. I've reached you like twice. What do you mean? Silence! I have but a couple of matters to address with you, my girl. Firstly, I am hereby announcing your demise, for you will not be advancing further than this very room. Please wait, you can't just silence! I shall pay you my respects. I've had enough with your mediocre attitude, my girl. I shall not tolerate it any further. As much as it is but a foolish gamble, I have made my own move. Now it is time for you to make yours. What? I see chess pieces. Please wait, I need you to explain what is going on. Guards! No, please wait. It is in your hands, my girl. It is your turn to claim what is yours. I was supposed to run, wasn't I? I thought I was still in a cutscene. Okay, never mind, I'll be right back. But there's gods here as well, so where... 
Let me explore the room just a little bit better before I start that whole endeavor again. Oh, balls. Where do I go? Ah. What? What just happened? Did it just stop? It went tick-tock for a second. What is that? What was that? Perhaps I could go after her. Perhaps I could. Perhaps I could use that. That was my name. Because they aren't too fast. Oh. Don't speak too quickly, my dear. No, 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 no. I couldn't select that. Now, what am I supposed to do here? Okay, I tried to look up what to do and I hadn't found it yet, but I got an idea because this is inspired on Alice in Wonderland and it just gave me a candy cane. A striped candy cane decorated with a puffy ribbon. Maybe I can do something with that. Maybe I can eat it so I... I don't know. I, I drank the bottle to become smaller. Right? That's what happened in one of the first episodes, I think. Anyway, let me see if I can do anything with that. Maybe this is actually the key to her room because I tried opening the door behind her. I couldn't do that. I couldn't figure out how to do that. And so, I don't know. Let me try. Let me try. All right, let's try this. God, this is stressful all the time. Candy cane. Oh, really? Oh, really? While I'm examining something, you're gonna make the time pass? Really? Maybe I can do something with a chocolate fountain with that. Maybe that's an idea. I do dislike that you have to, because that's something that's been happening before in this game, that you have to watch the cutscenes over and over and over again while the solution might take you a while to guess. That's the only bad thing I have about this game so far. I mean, I've said a lot of positive things about it. It's not like that is absolutely game-breaking at all. Just saying that is one thing that might not be 100%. According to me, good game design. Okay, I'm gonna head for the fountains. Oh god, that was way, way, way too close. I do not like that. Okay, you get stuck. You get stuck on things. And you two seem to have disappeared. So that's good. Get stuck. Oh! Oh, I got stuck. I got stuck. Why did I get stuck? Why? Why? Am I as foolish as these two guys? Okay. Run, 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 run. Take the cake. Oh, I had to take the cake. Oh, now I can crush you. Crush your tiny little bones. Was that all? Don't you dare hide from me. There we go. Alright, let's talk to the pumpkins for a bit. Haha, <laughs> just kidding. Okay. Thank you, dairy. Okay. Okay, that's just the same thing. Alright. Now what? Can I go through the door? Will I fit? Oh, I can sit on the throne. Look at me, who's the bit who's the boss now, bitch? Oh, not me apparently, because I can't actually sit on it. <laughs> what was that? Well what was it? Tell me. Tell me, girl. Shh, you shouldn't disturb the dead. The dead? That was what she said, but also my reaction. You haven't heard the three knocks, have you? I sure haven't. I hope I don't. Uh oh. Well? Hello? Is that my queen? Queen Igliette. Oh my. Queen Igliette. There's a note over there. Remember, remember, just how tender 
where the queen sweet little lies of a traitor in disguise. What does this mean? An assassin? Oh god, am I gonna be blamed for this? I, I didn't have anything to do with this. Who could have done this? Alright, I'm gonna end it on a little bit of a cliffhanger in that case because I'm just about out of time. So anyway, thank you so much for watching. Um, I got the link down in the description to this game if you want to play this game for yourself. And I hope to see you in the next video. Bye!